YouTube, YouTube. What's good, man? It's your boy Swain. I'm back with another video, man. And uh had a YouTube subscriber, man. Shout out to you, bro. He he asked me to do a video on life advice for people in their 20s. Actually, he said for men in their 20s, but you know, I think I'm going a, I'm to a make this video uh, for both sexes, for men and women. Life advice for 20-year-old men and women. That's going to be the title of the video, man. Very, very valuable video. Now, why do I feel I'm qualified to talk about this? Well, guys, I'm a little bit older. I'm 33 years old. Well, I will be 33 in a couple of months. I experienced a lot of shit in my 20s, man, and um, failed a lot. I failed a lot in my 20s. And I'm thankful for those failures because they have added value to me today and for me to be knowledgeable about a lot of things. Um, I think the problem with 20 year olds, especially in society today, and unfortunately the education systems has failed us so they haven't taught us this either, but we don't understand our duties as men and women. We also don't understand that the duty that we have, the the value that we bring to the table is different. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's very different, but both are very, very, um, needed in society and valuable right but the difference is and the duties will be this um for young ladies your your duty is to preserve your value right preserve the value that was god given to you the duty for a man is to create value right and not understanding this is the reason why so many of us fail as we get older you know um ladies I, i've i've worked in the in the in the in the uh nightlife industry for a while i've done security for about 10 years i started doing security when i was 21 years old i'm 32 now i still do it a little bit part-time although i work in law enforcement i still do like private details close protection and shit like that and you know i worked in a club a lot and what i've noticed is that the women who partied and we're drunk every weekend and we're out every weekend and we're smoking the hookah and shit. They're having a hard time right now in their thirties, man, because they neglected their God given value and they didn't preserve it. Ladies, the, the number one thing that you have going for yourself, and this is not to be, you know, uh, derogatory or to, or to shame you all, but it is your beauty, right? Men value beauty in women. Yes, we value, you know, what you bring to the table mentally, but we don't even want to know what the fuck you bring to the table mentally if you're not attractive. And what I've noticed is that I would see these women drinking and smoking hookah every weekend, every other Friday and Saturday. And over the time it became, I would see them every month and I would see them every year because I did security in all of these clubs. And these women are grossly out of shape right now. A lot of them have children. They look fucking 10 years older than their real age because alcohol ages you drastically, which is why I stopped drinking. It literally adds no value to you at all. There is nothing valuable about drinking alcohol. And what we like to do is we like to justify our negative actions and say, you know, uh, uh, one glass, one wine, one glass of wine a day keeps the doctor away. There's nothing about alcohol that's going to keep the doctor away. It's actually going to probably le lead you there a lot sooner and more and premature and more prematurely than you have to be. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, we have a lot of women part, part, participating in these being outside activities and things like that. And they get older and they wonder why men are not choosing them. OK, tell you what men look for when we're if we are wanting to have a girlfriend, if we're wanting to find someone to have a child with or if we're wanting to be married. It is a woman that is beautiful, a woman that is feminine and a woman that is able to be led. And not only is she able to be led, she's willing to be led. If you are a woman like this, you will. I promise you that you will find a man that you would probably consider to be of higher value because men who are on their purpose and on their grind, they seek women who are going to add value to them as they are trying to elevate in society. And I'm telling you right now, no man of real value is seeking out a woman that's partying every weekend, that's drinking and smoking fucking hookah and twerking in the clubs with our friends. I mean, nothing good comes out of it. And what's going to happen is that you're going to age so much faster than you than, than you could even realize. And you're going to look up and you're going to wonder where the fuck time went. And you're going to wonder why it's so hard to find a guy to be into you. Right. Because you're at the bottom of the totem pole. That's literally the definition of a of a loser for a female, a woman that's partying and drinking every weekend, who's allowing her her God given ability, which is her beauty and her looks to go to shit and 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 not being a feminine woman 
no man is going to want to deal with you. So I, that's what I would focus on if I were a woman. Now, for my guys, your job is to build your value. You ever wonder why when we're 20 years old, 21 years old, the beautiful, attractive women typically aren't paying attention to us. They're wanting the older guys who have their own place, who have a nice car, who has money, because women are attracted to men who can bring value. So if I were a guy at 20 years old and I could do my 20s all over again, I would find something that I'm good at. I would find something that I am passionate about. And I would figure out how to monetize it. Not only that, I would make sure that it adds value to people around me because that's where you make the money. People pay for things that make their life better. People pay for things that make their life more convenient. People pay for things that allows them to get knowledge to basically add to their life so that they can be more successful. And unfortunately, what a lot of us do as men is we spend our 20s partying, chasing women. This is starting to get on my fucking nerves. It seems like whenever you're trying to drop value or gems or or give game noise just pops up out of the fucking background i don't know this world has to be a simulation it can't be real but but anyways you know um that's what i would do man i i would find something that i'm good at and i would and i would lock in on it because you know floyd mayweather said that shit best bro he said it's better to be a master at one thing than to be than to be a jack of all trades and to be good at many but a master of nothing you could be good at a lot of shit but a master of nothing you won't add value to nobody like that when you don't have expertise. People pay for expertise. People pay for above average knowledge or 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 they pay for above average things. They're not going to pay for something that, you know, is is average that everybody can do. So you want to become above average at one thing and take that one thing and monetize it, right? And uh, unfortunately, we we fuck off a lot in our 20s and for some reason society kind of um coerces us to live it up in your 20s which i do agree to a certain extent because as i said in the beginning of the video i failed a lot of my 20s i partied a lot of my 20s so i experienced a lot of shit i got knowledge that i was unknowingly getting and what i will say is that to a certain extent it is good to kind of dibble and dabble in your 20s but don't let it consume you and do not let it get you off track the next thing this is for men and women that i would make sure I um made a priority is my social circle and my ability to network with people who are better than me and are in higher places. Now, this is something that I was unknowingly doing. I didn't even know that I was doing it because as I said, I got into security when I was about 21, 22 years old because I had my daughter when I was 20. I needed a job. I saw a security ad on on Indeed on um, Indeed's and I went and applied and I've been doing security ever since. Now I work in law enforcement. Like I said, I do close protection and gigs like that on the side because I have leveled up in security. And by the way, you can make a lot of money in security if you do it the right way. But um, I worked in a lot of clubs and I developed a lot of personal relationships. And that is how I even got into working in law enforcement. I developed a relationship while working in the nightlife with this guy who would come to this particular club every fucking weekend. He was a really cool dude. The whole time I didn't know he was a cop. And he just told me one day, he said, man, you got a great personality. You should get into law enforcement. You would do well. And I said, OK, cool. I never really thought about it like that. And I applied and in three months I was hired and now I'm working in law enforcement, guys. But the only reason I have this job is because of a relationship that I developed. And like I said, I was unknowingly developing these relationships. I had a lot of friends who were party promoters and we would get cool with these party promoters and we would get into the clubs free and we would get into events for free. And, you know, you would start meeting all of these people. And next thing you know, you got a whole bunch of numbers in your phone with people who are connected to different things. And you can start pu plugging in the puzzle pieces later in life as long as you're building something. And now you can bring something to the table. Another place, fellas, that you should frequent a lot that's going to allow you to work on your social network and making connections with people in higher places than you is the fucking gym, which is where I'm at right now because it is fucking leg day. But what I will say is that most guys who are diligent and about building their physiques are also diligent and about being successful and building outside of the gym. That's why you go into a private gym or you go into a, to a gym that you frequent at a lot or you see guys who frequent a lot. Once you get to know these guys, you're going to start to see that they have a lot of motion going on outside the gym as well. And this is one of the best places to uh, meet your male counterparts, fellas. 
guys who can actually help you elevate in life. It's not going to be a fucking club every weekend. It's not going to be the strip club. It's not going to be being outside partying and chasing women. Most of those guys who are doing that are low lives. They have no purpose. They are not driven. Have you ever noticed when you go to the club, you really don't see a lot of in-shape guys unless it's a pool party or something like that. And maybe you'll go to a pool party and these guys may not party that much. They just work the fuck. They work out a lot and they want to show off their physique. So they go to the pool. But if you frequent at a club, I promise you, man, I've done security for years. I know what I'm talking about. Even if you want to challenge this, I'm telling you, it's a fact. Most guys who are in the club on a, on, a, on a weekly basis are not in fucking shape because it doesn't line up. Drinking alcohol every weekend, partying every weekend, being up late at night does not um, parallel well with being fit. You understand what I'm saying? This is why I stopped drinking alcohol because there's nothing valuable in it. And I'm going to tell you right now, and this is some little nerd shit right here. It's probably off topic, but... Uh, alcohol consumption stops and it interrupts every fucking natural process of the body it means your protein synthesis if you are the type of guy who wants to go to the gym lift weights and you're and you're really big on trying to build muscle and you're drinking every weekend you're not going to build shit if you are a guy who's going to the club all the time and you're partying every night and staying up late guess what you're not going to get great sleep your testosterone levels are going to tank so you're going to be a guy who is who is less driven this is why a lot of these guys are not driven a lot of them are broke they're, they're they party a lot they sleep on their mama's couch they play video games their only drive in life is to fuck women and go turn up and that is some loser ass shit that's equivalent to the woman who parties every weekend get uh drinks try to get in the club free smoke hookah she's going to be fat and unwanted and you're going to be broken unwanted and this is typically why you see a lot of broke ass men with fat ass women and i'm just being real guys i'm not trying to be derogatory or or shaming anybody but i'm just giving you the game i'm giving you what life actually starts to look like as you get older but you don't recognize it while you're young while you're in your 20s, you think you turn in the fuck up. But in actuality, actuality, you're just progressing in um a loser's state. I'm just being real. You you <laughs> I'm just being real. If that if that makes sense, you're just going nowhere fast, bro. And that's all you're fucking doing. You think you're doing something, but you ain't doing nothing. You're gonna look up and you're gonna be like, damn, I'm I'm a fucking loser for real. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the advice that I would give you all. Not trying to make this video too long, man, but um, definitely as a woman, preserve your value and as a man, build and create the value, bro. Because as you get older, tables will fucking turn for you, man. Those same girls who you were chasing are going to start to 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 start wanting you. And, I, and I'm not saying you should do this shit to get women to want you. I'm just saying that the tables will turn. They will definitely turn. And in most cases, you're not going to even want these women because they were too busy partying, drinking, turning up. Now you're 32, 33 years old. And the women who were bad as fuck in college, they're not even attractive no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the guys who were partying and drinking and turning up and every all the girls were liking. Now they're fat, broke, credit fucked up, living at home, you know, can't do shit, can't add any value, bro. It's much better to be that guy that's on his purpose early, that's hitting the gym on a regular basis, that's finding something that he's good at and, you know, um, locking in on it. That's being around men who are older and better than them. It will pay off later in life, man. But listen, that's all I got for this video. I'm going to go in here and knock these legs out. Until next time, fellas. Peace.